Just on a personal note, you've done so much on the career. I used to see you on the the soap operas and stuff. What's your favorite thing that you've ever done? Ah, uh, that is a tough one. Um, you know, so many times, I mean, I've been doing this for 25, almost 30 years now. You're 21, so that's not possible. I know, right? <laughs> um, no, I'm 48 in another month. So, um, but I think, I think really what happens is with all the various things that you do, occasionally in life, what you're doing meets you where you are in your life, and then it becomes incredibly special that it kind of meets you right where you are. Fame was one of those for me. It just, it, right where I was in my personal life is where that my character kind of was at the yeah. same time. So I was able to sing and dance and act and explore all of that simultaneously. And that was one of the most phenomenal experiences for me. But I love the music and, um, and I love the acting as well. There have been incredible moments in acting when I'm working with John Voight or, or somebody like that who's... He's in 24. He's amazing. Yeah. Um, John Voight's incredible, so you, then you're learning on that specific level in that specific um, genre or that talent, whatever that, that craft is that you're working on. So there have been lots of little moments like that, but I'd have to say overall, fame was probably the, the, the most powerful thing because it met me where I was in my life at that time. Did you get to see the new one? I did. Did you like it? You know what? Here's the thing. I thought it was directed really well. It looked beautiful. Um, Every time there was a performance, it was caught on fire, which is not easy to do. I don't think it's, it's easy to, A, choreograph it and, 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 and uh, stage it in a way that's exciting and shoot it in a way that's exciting and new yeah. without it just being, oh, you've got to add something new to it. And I think they did a great job of doing that. But I felt like the story lacked. I think um, it, there just wasn't enough. In, you didn't get invested enough in each individual character. There was, a, there was a lot more grit in the first movie. And I'm not saying I even liked the first movie better. <laughs> you were in it, so you better love no, it. No, I wasn't in the first movie. I was in the series. Oh, in the series, right. but... Right. But there was a grit that went with it. And I think um, probably in this day and age with the kinds of things that are going on with High School Musical yeah. and Dancing with the Stars and American Idol, there's a clean or a cleanliness or a, a youthfulness that they're trying to protect in that. And so I think that's what they were trying to do is, is create something that adults and children could sit down together and watch. But it kind of put them on the fence a little bit. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're honest. You could have just been like, it was the most amazing I'm thing. Honest. <laughs> that's, I don't know if that's such a good thing. No, sometimes. it's very good. But lastly, what do you want to say to anyone watching either here or in the Philippines about tonight and about what happened in the Philippines? Well, what I'm saying, is if you've got something to give, give it. Because you're going to gain by doing that. This is a perfect opportunity for you to actually add something to your life by giving. So if you can give, give. Well, thank you so much. Pleasure.